one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas. Any asshole with a buck, a whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down friendly? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we got to create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're going to plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be ready to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchon Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. Hey, Big Tone! Did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. Sophisticated European. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boyfriend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man. And my husband is in hell. I'm thinking... God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, you made it, uh, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed him. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching me. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make him stop. In the meantime, i to chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. a boy. Come on. I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest. He's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone. An Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Fucking sneaky scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! 
What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure. I told you I'm not gonna go. Brother, I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! But we are being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey! Hey! Sit down. That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. <clears throat> because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean, <clears throat> I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I, I messed up. But I tried. I made a mistake. But I admit it. We all make mistakes. Exactly. And this guy is still threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. Get his pals up. Okay. You okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same though, is it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, cheese. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. Uh-huh. That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chop. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we can talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep and the poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now, business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours. Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But, Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. 
You got it, no problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Mm. What have I got myself into? Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we can ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. <laughs> 